I was surprised to see some people expressing interest in seeing the seeing an actual video on the iHome music system alarm clock that I was using as a very crude means of testing the audio output and fidelity of the Ion TT USB turntable. The turntable is still over there, but I recently ended up putting these two back into storage until I checked my YouTube comments that never seemed to come into my inbox like they're, they used to and they're supposed to and found out that at least two people had written me wanting to see videos on these things. These are really not all that, that special. This one is model HIP95 and this one is model number HDL95 and they're both essentially the same exact thing but the one thing that differentiates these two iHomes from the ones that you can find in a store, online, or just for regular consumers is that these are specifically made for use in the hospitality industry. That is to say, hotels, motels, inns, bed and breakfasts, anything like that. That's what these are supposed to be used for. And they're not supposed to be for sale to regular consumers, mere mortals, such as myself. And you can definitely tell that because if we turn both of these units around you have these security lanyards that are actually attached to the rear of the stereo systems this one has one as well and you're supposed to mount these to some sort of a piece of furniture to prevent theft of these iHomes so if you use them in a hotel or a motel you don't have to worry about people walking off with them they have to be pretty involved to unscrew or, or cut this security lanyard to remove the device so it acts as a bit of a theft deterrent if you will and I actually managed to find these on eBay somebody was selling these as surplus units that they bought too many of or I'm, I'm not quite sure they perhaps might have upgraded to a newer sort of iHome system I'm not too sure but they had these two units that were part of a lot and I decided to take the opportunity to go ahead and buy them because I I've heard how well these sound in the past and I know that they generally have decent audio fidelity for their size and I could always use more speaker systems that are at least portable enough that I could just set them wherever I need to hook up a device to play audio and I don't have to drag around a, a whole gigantic stereo system with me. And another indication of these iHomes intended use in the hospitality industry are these printed instructions that are included on the top here which tell hotel or motel guests how to use the iPod how to use the alarm you can see on this one it also shows you the same pretty much the same thing however this device can support the iPad as well because it uses the newer lightning style connector whereas this one uses the older style connector that Apple had been using for several several years I think actually from the get-go with their iPod devices so this has the older style docking connector, this one has the newer connector, and aside from that, they're essentially the same thing. So you have this rubber backing here to add support for any sort of iPod that you connect. And you can see that this one is significantly taller than this one, because obviously if you're using an iPad, you need a bit more support so that all the pressure of the device leaning isn't placed on this one connector down here. So here is that old iPod 5th generation, I believe somebody had corrected me in the video, I don't exactly remember the model of this one, but this has the older style connector, the 30 pin connector, and you simply connect it like so, and then when it's connected onto the device, the iHome, it begins to charge, so not only can you play back your music, but you can also charge it at the same time. And it uses this iHome 12 volt 2700 milliamp AC to DC adapter which connects into the rear of the unit I'll show that in just a moment but I'll connect this up to power first off now that we've connected it up to power we not only are charging our iPod if I click that we should get some sort of indication on the screen okay that's why it's locked that it's charging and then if we look down here you can see that the LCD display is illuminated which is a different style than what I'm used to seeing because the older iHomes that they used to have for a very long time in, in hotels 
had just a, a, a white background with black numbers and that has changed now with these new ones you have a black background with white characters but it actually does very well and doesn't end up casting your entire room in a bright white glow because instead of having this entire LCD be lit up white you only have the characters so you have your volume control here which is just a rocker button top and bottom and you also have a tuning button here because this does have an integrated FM radio that was one of the reasons why I picked this unit up in the first place because I don't have enough good quality FM radios I have a bunch of cheaper boombox type things but they don't sound all that good and they don't do all that well on FM stereo and I've had good luck with these things in the past when I've wanted to listen to radio at least with my older iHome unit that had an integrated FM tuner in it you have aux input your radio button alarm on and off and the play and pause button for your iPod alarm set your wake to control so you can wake to your iPod the FM tuner or a buzzer you have three FM radio presets and nature sounds which is really something that I was quite surprised to see on this unit and pressing this gives you you can see that this lights up to let you know that it's receiving power and the, there's audio I don't really know what purpose this would serve I suppose it could be useful if in a spa environment or somebody who just wants to have some background ambience I'm not too sure clicking it again changes to chimes rain ocean and then cricket so it has the same instrumental backing track with different sound effects would be nice if they just let you play the sound effects without the instrumentation but I guess there was a reason and no you can't wake up to those sound effects which kind of defeats the whole purpose of having it having that feature to begin with because I'm sure there would be quite a lot of people that would like to be able to wake up to for example cricket sounds instead of the radio but you can't do that and we don't have too many unused characters on the display but you can see we do have PM and AM indicators the wake to indicator radio and buzzer the off indicator with some other unused characters which I don't believe are completely used the alarm indicator your iPod whether you're playing that and a low battery indicator and we are currently in daylight savings time so that's why that's displaying beneath the time now this one is essentially the same thing as this one except it's in slightly rougher condition this speaker grill has obviously been subjected to some sort of abuse or misuse it's warped bent and coming out here there's also a plethora of scratching and scuffing here and it's a bit dusty but that's just from being in storage it wasn't like that when I bought it you can see there's more scratches and scuffing now on the rear of the unit we actually have a three and a half millimeter stereo line-in jack which you can use for any device an iPod a phone an mp3 player a CD player what have you and you can see that on the rear of the unit you actually have this plastic cover here which advises you how to use the line-in put and then you've got this plastic cover if you notice has a thumb screw and this one actually didn't come with one so you can see what's behind there you can go about removing the DC power plug that way because you can't with this cover attached daylight savings time settings time sync slash set button which actually syncs the time of the iHome with whatever time is on the iPod or iPod touch or even the iPad that you have connected your time zone control your volume level high and low more evidence that this is intended for hotels putting on low restricts the volume to a rather conservative level and then there's the area in which you screw the thumb screw to this does have an FM wire antenna as does this one this one's fully extended all the way and it actually does a pretty decent job with pulling in stations you just need to play with the positioning because sometimes you'll pick up static and interference there's that security lanyard made in China 
but it was designed by iHome in the USA. And when there's no power being received by the iHome, you can see that you obviously don't see anything on the LCD display. This actually takes a total of three AA batteries, not only to back up your alarm, but also your time settings. And you will get, if the power becomes disconnected, a display of the time, although it won't be backlit, so you'll have to struggle to see it, which is the only problem with having a display such as this, because it makes it very difficult to see if you don't have the backlight on. But once you turn on, you can also dim it using this snooze slash dimmer control. So three double A's go here. And you can see manufactured and serviced by HDI Industries, hoteltech.com. Can tune from 87.5 to 107.9. So I can thankfully tune in my radio station on 87.9 FM if I so desire. It's kind of funny, I have the window open right now. It's a beautiful, crisp, cool fall night and there's crickets outside as I put this on. Don't really need that when you have the real thing right outside your window. So we'll switch that over to radio. Pour it on the Okay. Pressed radio, not aux. Very, very good audio fidelity. The speakers sound exceptional on these iHomes. Really amazing considering their intended use as just an alarm clock and an iPod dock. And this also does have base ports on the back. They're not exposed, they're obstructed by these the speaker grill, but they are there. They do help to boost the base. After the sun goes down, the AM and FM airwaves become host to some pretty eclectic material. I don't know what this is. But this is a WKCR FM. Certainly uh, a bit interesting. Don't quite know what that is. And this is receiving FM stereo, hence the slight hiss. Fiberphonist Joe Locke and Ain't No Sunshine. He's here with uh, Jamie O'Brown on drums, uh, Ryan Cohen piano, and the guy who has played bass for everybody and his sister, from uh, like Dizzy Gillespie to uh, Natalie Cole to uh, Elton John. In old lives, just hold me close. Don't patronize. Very, very good FM stereo reception and FM stereo in general and stereo separation because it has the right and left speaker so it is true stereo sound and this song was just a perfect demonstration of that. I couldn't have even planned that. Now here I have a derelict Android smartphone that was gifted to me when the previous owner upgraded to a newer and non-broken model. This one's got a broken LCD screen and it has troubles with remaining connected to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the cellular networks. Shut up, I'm trying to make a video, and if you so much as just kind of let it fall on the ground or just tap it or move it the wrong way, 
it powers off so it obviously has a bad solder joint or something going on with the internal components of this phone but I don't care because it's free and it works well enough for testing so I'll go ahead and look up a uh, music video here just to do a demonstration so just go ahead undo the mp3 line in jack and of course there's not enough slack in here but I can just rest the phone where the iPod usually should go and play this. I really hate touch screens. We gonna play? Now we have a 21st century jukebox to play our favorite vinyl, digitally of course. <laughs> and when you're all done, you just simply wrap it around, keep it nice and neat insert it into its little holder and you now have a nice portable alarm clock that uh, gives you a bit more options flexibility and sound quality than those red neon death glow alarm clocks that were ubiquitous in hotels back in the 90s and early 2000s and I think that'll do it for this iHome HIP95 and iHome HDL95 oh yeah and there's the piezo alarm buzzer and this one has the same thing over here so now if I really wanted to get ambitious maybe if I use two of these at the same time I could have quadraphonic sound that's a thought